Hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the first edition of the Weekly Word. I'm going to just say it. Oh, okay, go. Yeah, fuck Welcome you. Welcome to the first edition of the Weekly Word. Read, go. Welcome to the first edition of the Weekly Word. Awesome. All right. Um, so we're going to start off with Dota. So, all right, let's... Real quick, if you don't know what the weekly word is, if you're, which you haven't, no one up, does because you haven't told. Yeah, me but if you haven't like word. figured out what the weekly word is gonna be, uh, it's our little video explaining what's going on in the nerd world, and so basically, you don't have I don't to go. Like, I don't like the term nerd. Okay, basically us drifting off topic without getting yelled at for drifting off topic in our Naruto videos. Yeah, but hopefully we awesome. can jumble everything that's going on into one quick video so that you don't have to constantly be on IGN every morning like I am trying to figure out what's going on. So first thing we're talking about. Dota 2 International. I don't know if anyone plays... If, any, if you play Dota, you probably know what's going on No, right Andy, because he's pro. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally pro. Even if you this hear is all anything day about Dota, International is probably something yeah. you hear about Dota. Yeah, but so, what's Dota? Dota is a MOBA. <laughs> what's a MOBA? Oh, God, I actually don't know. It's like multiple lane... Multiplayer game. online battle arena. Oh, that's what, oh, that's oh. what my guess was this morning. Wait, stop. When Andy said MOBA, I was like, what's MOBA? And I was like, it's probably multiplayer online battle arena. And I was like, yeah. that makes sense. Show is. All right. So, that was a guess. Go ahead. Continue. So basically, it's like a 5v5 game. It's kind of like a combination of like capture the flag and, and tower defense. like yeah. basketball. And, and tower defense. And tower defense. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Esports so, kind of thing. You know, competitive first person shooters. You know, competitive fighting yeah. games. This is competitive MOBA. So, so and fuck the rest of level. competitive gaming because honestly, right now, this is the fourth year they're doing the international. The prize. Is it six million dollars? You guys know how much six million dollars is? It's a lot of dollars. You can buy a lot of dollars. I'm just gonna point out that you're saying fuck all of competitive gaming while I'm wearing my Evo shirt. Well, that's fine. (laughs) No, what I'm saying is like if you take if you take the top earnings of all five oh yeah top professional gamers, anyone that wins this tournament blows them out of the water completely. If you if if you if you decide to play Dota professionally and you win this, you've made more than the top five professional gamers combined ever. In their history of their careers. Yeah, you've screwed Jay Wong and his... Yeah, which is, which is crazy. It's like, as far as, like, gaming goes, like, this is this is mainstream. I feel yeah. like it's getting there. Yeah. Well, and even if it's not mainstream, it just means that when it is mainstream, it's going to be huge. So here's the crazy thing. How did we get to six million as a product? Oh, I'll tell you exactly how. Yeah. Valve is learning how to print money. Yeah. It's basically saying, because here's what they're going to do, like, they're gonna give this like they're they're all this money is only twenty five percent of the money they've already taken in. So actually, they've taken in almost twenty four million dollars. How much twenty four million dollars is? You can buy a lot of Big Macs. So and the way all they of that did shit this is going back into the game. Is probably going back into the game, or to use it to build game. other games, like you know, yeah. like Half Life Three or something. I don't know how long well, is it. Whatever that is, I don't know. I, I don't remember that. Was it um, thirteen years? I don't think I was born then. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. I was, actually, I don't think I was gaming. What's Half Life? Um, but so what they what they're offering is all these items it's to the players. How long the element to yeah, decay right. to half of it? Oh, yeah. So the, so the tournament's like the prize pool is completely is completely funded by the players, <laughs> all trying to get these items. It's like, hey, I'm gonna spend ten bucks. I'm gonna get access to all the games. I'm gonna get all like the stuff that like I can get for like whatever level I have. I get all the backer rewards. It's almost like Kickstarter, except. It even it's better because you get more things for the it's game that you're already for the game that you're already putting a shitload of time and shitload of money into. Combined with the lottery, yeah, where all of your winnings aren't money, instead they're items. virtual items for yeah. the game. That you so, play. so all in all, Dota is doing its thing, and this Dota's international it, man. is yeah. going to be huge. Yeah. So if you're not into Dota, definitely worth checking out. Even if you're not going to play it, yeah. watching it is definitely going to be watching. Fun. It's really entertaining. It's almost like. Like, you know, like, I don't know anything about soccer, but I enjoy watching yeah. soccer. It's a lot like that. Like, you do have to know some things about the heroes, but, like, generally people are pretty easy to, like, follow. You kind of figure out the rules, and then, like, it's just really fun to watch because it's a very com- it's a competitive game, yeah. and um, it doesn't take that long. It takes about 45 minutes to watch a game, and that's way easier time commitment than, like, a, a three-hour game. fucking football yeah. game or yeah. an ha- hour and a half for soccer. Yeah, no... I have absolutely no interest in playing MOBAs or MMOs, mm-hmm. but I like watching that stuff. The, like keeping the, up with the international is pretty awesome. Yeah. Halo is like my oh, like life. That's that's where our friendship started. Yeah, that really is. Like, it was the first time we ever met. I didn't like him, and he hated me. And then well, one I, day, I'm gonna stop. Everyone hates Andy the first time you meet him. That's so, true. So he's Rick like told me about people that he's introduced me to that hate me and then hang out with me and then like me. Yeah. I, I, I have another friend who's like that as well. I was going to say, I have another a, friend that also hates No, no, no. Who, who, who makes a one more. terrible yeah. first impression for no good reason, but is an awesome dude. You have to acquire a taste Speaking for which Andy. I was supposed to call him today. Like cheese or forgot. wine. Or caviar. Caviar. Uh, um, um, anyway, Halo came out with a bunch of big announcements. Some good, some bad. 
uh, last week, but one of them is Halo 5 has a title, and it's Halo Guardians. And it also has a release date. And it has a release date. But this when? is the sad news. 2015. When 2015? Uh, oh. It's going to be fall, like November. Not really? Yeah, so, all right, my problem with that is... <laughs> it's more Titanfall, I guess. E3 2013, you guys came... Um, 343 Studios and Microsoft was like, guys, get ready for the next generation, the next trilogy of Halo, blah, 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 it's going to be coming out 2014, awesome, yeah. and I was like super excited for Halo really to Halo. come out, no, not even that, because hey, there's no Halo on Xbox One now, so we knew the systems were coming out, and the only thing I had, to, and the main reason I bought the Xbox One, to be completely honest, was Halo, Halo because yeah. me and Andy, like, there's one game you can always go back to, and it's Halo, well, whether it's Griff Ball, Team, yeah, uh, Deathmatch, or SWAT. That's one of the things, man. You don't buy a system for a game until the game is out. Yeah. I bought my PS3 for The Last Guardian. <laughs> How did that go? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. No, completely happy with it. It's going to happen. But the PS3 actually started killing it towards the end of that generation. My Xbox One is a great Twitch like gaming system to watch. It's really awesome. And I'm, I'm actually really happy with my purchase. kind of halfway thinking that maybe we'll get a Last Guardian announcement. This PS4? year for PS4. Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Hopefully. New, news has been suggesting that it might go that way. I'll watch that. We'll see. So, yeah, Halo is going to be 2015, which is disappointing, but, I mean, it is what it is. And then, right I'd, after... I'd rather have a good game later yeah. than a shitty game now. Yeah. And there's a lot of interesting things about the cover. It's definitely not Master Chief on the cover that they showed us. Well, there's one Master Chief and then one other Spartan. Yeah, well, the, the other Spartan uh, on the Kelly. cover... I, I don't well, know. Yeah, it's, it's like one and one, so it's like reflected. Oh, okay. Master Chief's the one on top, and there's some some evil else on the Spartans, but, man. I mean, why would you call it Guardians then? Because I don't know. Anyway, there was a couple the last Guardians. Guardians. Yeah, there was a couple good. screenshots that I've I've seen. There's a new Raccoon. scope on the uh, DMR. Um, no, it wasn't DMR. I'm sorry. It was the battle rifle. Uh, there's okay. a, a new scope. It looked a lot like a Call of Duty scope. Oh, that's going to be fun. All so, Halo pistols are now golden guns, one shot kills. Yeah. Really you know, great. honestly, if they take, like, the pistol from Titanfall and put it in Halo, oh, I'd be pretty okay with that. That's a great pistol. Yeah. I I would like a lock-on weapon in Halo, but you know what? I'm not making the game. Anyway, right after they said Halo's coming out in 2015 and this here's a the title, they also said, uh, that, I mean, is it confirmed now? I think it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that they're coming out in 2014 one through four. with 1 through 4. Now, that on the is... Xbox one. Amazing what? for me because I'm going to be Yo, addicted Halo to Halo maps. two and three. That's it. I hope they do something a little bit different than they did with Halo Anniversary Collection for the yeah, multiplayer. Yeah, just kind of yeah. like put it on top. I don't. Of it. I want well, like yeah, they, Halo three. They 3's put it in the Reach engine and just nope. I want shoved Halo ones. Nah, maps I, in there. I want Halo 3's multiplayer yeah, keep, and that's keep it. Keep the physics yeah. from each game. Yeah, the same. In the multiplayer. That'd be cool. Yeah. Man. We'll have to see. I'm definitely going to see or some more stuff. Or mix maps from like all four I miss, in there and I miss make it the like days one big multiplayer. Where they had like the SMG plasma rifle combo and I could just kill an entire team yeah, of four. I mean, I'd be like, I think come at gonna, me. I think they're going to balance that. I think they've learned. They've already balanced. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so can. as long as we're talking about Xbox One. Xbox has been making some moves too. Xbox has been making some serious moves. And a lot of people say it's a desperation move. I don't think so. I think it's just, uh, well, something they should have done a while ago, and I think they're just maybe. realizing now, like, all right, we should smarten up. It definitely feels to me like they're hitting the panic button. Like, the one thing that differentiated them from, you know, PC, console, just being another game machine... Was that they're an entertainment system? Kind of. And it didn't work out for yeah. them. No, actually... Like, they had a vision but for let's, Connect and the voice... Let's talk about what they the changed. Voice, yeah, first right, off. So. Okay, okay. Um, they... First off, announced that they're coming out on June 9th with a uh, 399 Xbox console that only comes with the console and the controller, no connect. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's definitely a good move on their part. I think that people are going to be a little bit more inclined to spend 399 or $400 as opposed to 500 when they can get a system that actually has a better reputation with the public right now. They're still going to sell the version with the Kinect yeah. if people want to buy that, but they'll sell one without... So when you said uh, that the system was designed around the Kinect, to an extent that was kind of true because hardware-wise, like 10-15% of the CPU and GPU right now are dedicated, dedicated to, to the Kinect, yeah. which is kind of why developers are, you know, a little bit mm, about developing for the Xbox One because it's, because of its allocation, a less powerful machine. Yeah. Like, part for part, it's a little bit less powerful machine, but... That, but you know, wise, yeah, but the connect sure. utilization makes it less so. Right. But if you remember, like 
a couple gems ago, you know, PS2 versus Xbox and GameCube. Hardware-wise, the PS2 was the weakest out of all three of those. And they... And it fucking killed! One of the... Because of market system. penetration yep. and just the crazy library they had. Well, speaking of market penetration, I think... Penetration. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, when you say, like, the, the Xbox, like, they're hitting the panic button, I, I think it's actually not that case. Because the thing is, the Xbox One is outselling the, like, previous generation Xbox yeah. by a good margin. Yeah, they're not selling as much as Sony. But... But it's and and I think these decisions that they're because uh, I'm kind of skipping ahead, but like the Xbox, the changes to Xbox Live, which we'll talk about, are saying okay, we're gonna go toe to toe with Sony. But I think that's competitive as opposed to panic. Yeah. So they, I'm gonna go say this, they've lost Europe. They've lost the battle in Europe. But, Europe is firmly PS4. But America and Canada, a lot of analysts actually have said that they think that they can outsell the PS4 in America True. and Canada well, with this so, new change. So. But here's the thing, and then when we talk about emerging markets, you have China. And you have Brazil. Brazil Brazil's going to be hit because Brazil's import laws are totally Dumb. screwed with screwed with games, so they're not going to be able to penetrate that deal. Yeah. Didn't Microsoft start doing something weird in Brazil where they're actually like manufacturing one of their parts in there? Yeah, and, and then yeah, they might be have, trying to do that. Yeah, but one, but specifically, the import you line. have one of the biggest markets in the world, China, which is has a growing middle class, which um, is very anti-Japan. And already has Microsoft penetration with yeah. with Office. Interesting. So you're looking at a very large market to like market your shit to. Inside baseball. And and this other company, this, your biggest competitor, really is is looked at as a Japanese company to the Chinese, and they're not on the best terms. So I'm thinking Xbox One has a, has a place and it has some growth potential. So does Sony. I'm not going to say either one is like going to outsell the other. I'm not. I'm not. A market analyst like right. that. I'm just saying that, like, I don't think these decisions are panics. I think they are strategic morality matching yeah. to make them okay. more, more, like, more attractive. And it's costing them a lot of money for for, for the it, Xbox Live. Oh yeah, paywall they're getting rid of. Like, in the that's long, costing them millions of dollars a year for the potential of getting billions. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's. A smart and you can see that Sony did something at E3 that Microsoft got screwed by, and they made sure that their system and everything they were doing appealed to gamers and the consumers. Mm -hmm. Microsoft was doing a lot of stuff that people were like, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that, well, I don't like that. It, cool system, but I don't like a lot of what you're doing. It's new and it's scary. Yeah. Whether or not it was a good decision or a bad decision. I mean, I think it's something that's going to have... Individual pieces. DRM and everything, I think that eventually it's going to be... Steam fucking pulled it off. I know, but... Well, that's why yeah. it's a de Microsoft is a scary company later. because they're so money-hungry, so people are worried scary about why they're doing it. And they actually are doing it for the right reasons because, honestly, down the road, physical games are not going to be a thing... It's, it doesn't make sense if you can have a digital thing. It'll be cheaper yeah, digital. Yeah, tell me how your CD collection is doing. Yeah. With all your music. Yeah, exactly. That's a perfect <laughs> example. Um, but anyway, Microsoft tried to do something that was too fast and too scary. And I well, think now they're... their core market either. But, and I think now they're realizing that they need to get everybody on their side well, first and then be like, hey, guys, we're going to kind of do this now. I hope hands, you're still with us. Sony got to play it real safe. They're like, oh, yeah, we've been doing what we've always been doing. For the gamers. Yeah, exactly. And, and people ate that shit up. It was one in the market. Sony's done a better job appealing to gamers. Uh, that's just how it is. But I think Microsoft realized, like, all right, if we're going to try to make people get Xbox Live be uh, so that they can use Netflix and Hulu, people are just going to get a PS4 because they can get it for free and not have to worry about paying for a subscription. So they changed that up now. They re Sony's done a great job of giving you free indie games that are fun. And Microsoft's given yeah. you nothing. And even if you wanted to buy something, there's been nothing because of the clauses that they have in their contract saying that they can't uh, well, put their games out. But they've been offering games for gold, which is, is actually that, tying into... Like, for a next-gen... generation oh. has been much better, but for someone that has a next-gen console, like an Xbox One, if I'm looking at one system that gives you nothing for having uh, their online subscription that costs more money and has nothing online for you to download other than Call of Duty map packs and Battlefield uh, map packs... Yeah. And then I'm looking at this other system that's fifty dollars for the year. It gives you a game every single month, and the games they've come out with, three. yeah, the games they've come out with have been really good and a lot of fun. I'm just gonna go with the PS4. Yeah, it just so, doesn't make well, any sense. I mean, that's saying coming June, Microsoft's doing it now. Yeah. yeah, they're doing the same thing. I know that's what I'm saying. That's they're, the they're unwrapping. They're unwrapping Netflix. They're unwrapping Hulu. They're unwrapping like I guess. Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah, I think all, all, of, all that stuff's stuff coming out from the paywall. For and they're free actually play games. for free to play games. Yeah, yeah, actually, with a period of time, uh, depending on how long you've had Xbox Live and whatever they're gonna else, you, they're yeah. gonna yeah give if you some you, of the money back. That you only use it for uh, the apps. Yeah. So here's the thing: if if we sound like we're kind of leaning pro Microsoft, 
right now, don't misunderstand. Well, no, PS, I think, yeah, I think all three of us great. are basically leaning towards the side of competition. Yeah. Like, when these companies are both scrapping for lead, it's the gamers that win. Yeah, exactly, because when you compete, only... Yeah, if one company gets fucking come out, yeah. buried, like, yeah, it's nice to see your favorite system do well, but if both are doing well and the companies feel like they have to really try and push, you know, good game libraries to get a lead over their competitor as opposed to just sit on their laurels, that means we get better games. That mean, means we get better services. And Competition's good, man. Um, also, another announcement uh, last week was Far Cry 4. Uh, I don't know if you guys played Far Cry 3. Or Far Cry. It's awesome. I didn't finish it. Uh, I liked it. I'm actually really interested to see what they do with Far Cry 4 because I think they have a good idea of what works uh, for an open-world first-person shooter. Um, probably one of the better Far Cry games with Far Cry 3, so I think that they're going to continue what they're doing. Was the story any good? Yeah, uh, yeah. I enjoyed one huh? I think, if anything, it was just what you can do in it. It literally was like Skyrim with guns. Fair enough. Yeah. So I like hunting. The hunting for it was actually a lot The fun. instances were better than like the story. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I can deal with that. Yeah. I mean, and then the story wasn't bad. It was just, I mean, cool. You get stuck on an island. This guy turns from, like, a little girl to, like, a badass. Like, cool. Um, you, have to, you have to punch a shark. Yeah. But it was just, like, what you can yeah. do in it. And on the next gen, it's going to be beautiful. Because we've seen Assassin's Creed. Uh, we've seen, I guess, Titanfall. And Battlefield looks really good on the uh, Xbox One and PS4. So Far Cry is going to just blow our minds. Like Gotham, uh, the TV show, has a trailer out. Um... Flash was a TV trailer, too. Yeah. Young Batman and yeah, Young Flash. No, no, no. It, the way it works CW is it's, it's actually following Gordon uh, when he's younger. Oh. Bruce is very, very young. Uh, Selena's young. That's Catwoman, if you don't know. Um, uh, the Riddler, Penguin, all of them are young. Young Dane DeVito? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But, I mean, I don't know, how I, I don't know how I feel about it. Um... <laughs> I feel kind of... We'll try it. Yeah, I'll taste it. I'll see how I like it. See how it works. Because there's certain... I'm a big Batman fan, and there's certain things that I think don't really fit right now, and I think they're trying to force a lot of things just so that they can have certain characters in it. I don't know, man. Enough people gave Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a chance. It got yeah, renewed. And what happened. It got renewed. Can you fucking believe that? And they doubled down with Agent Carter. And so with they another, another CW show... Agent Carter show oh. coming out. Man. They showed... Um, the teaser trailer for uh, the Flash, which is yeah, which is spinning out if from Arrow. If you've watched Arrow, you've seen that the Flash is going to be a thing. Um, I'm not going to explain how it happens or whatever else, but it was a quick teaser trailer where Oliver is shooting an arrow and the Flash runs and grabs it. Nothing special, but it gets you excited for the Flash. You watch it. Try it uh, out. I'm going to definitely watch it. I think that they did a great job with Arrow. The first two seasons have been phenomenal. Uh, it can only get better, and The Flash hopefully will be on par with where Arrow is at. Uh, in other superhero news, Batman and Superman, uh, the movie that's coming out in 2015, has uh, a picture of Batman. Um, yeah, the saddest, most depressing Batman. It's see, like, my whole problem with what a lot of people... Sadder and more depressing than Val Kilmer is Batman? Oh, good <laughs> yeah. That's just, that's pretty, a lot yeah, of people have been like looking at the bat suit and complaining about like how bulky nipples? he looks and for, no nipples this time. I think they've learned. Um, <laughs> I like the car. Yeah, the, the car, car looks awesome. awesome. But they've been looking at how bulky he looks and like, some Batman not even bulky? safe. No, that, Batman's crazy bulky. And yeah. but in that in uh, Dark Knight Returns, that's what he looks like. He's an older Batman. He's like that old man that's, like, you know when people say, like, old man strength? Like, that's what Batman yeah. is at that point. He's not the young, fast, agile Batman. He's an older Batman, but he's just as smart, and he has that experience on his belt. So his fighting style is different, and he's a bigger dude. Which is going to matter for the laser eyes. Yeah. And the frost breath. Yeah. And the punch from space that blows up his organs. Uh, anyway. Superman. If you guys have hell? seen the picture and you haven't uh, actually read the comic that they're kind of basing a lot of this on, please read the comic first. It's Dark Knight Returns. Is it supposed to follow the DKR story? It's not. I don't oh. think it's going to completely follow. But the whole Dark Knight, like the second part of Dark Knight oh, Returns, Dark Knight is, Returns movie. I think they're taking a lot from it, but it's not fully based off it. So All right. apparently Wonder Woman's got a scene in it too, and she didn't really play much of a role in it. So, oh, well, they're doing something else. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I want... 
I don't want to watch a, a movie that I kind of I know what's going to happen. You know, like I've, I've read the uh, the comic and I've seen the animated film, so why would I want to watch it again? Just fair enough. Last thing I want to bring up is uh, after a I don't know six seven month hiatus, like it does, uh, Saga. The oh, comic yeah. is oh, coming yeah. back today. Cool. Yeah, the new issue came out. I nice. have not picked it up. I need I to read. Do them. that either tomorrow or this weekend. I need to read the most recent trade of that. Oh yeah, yeah, the trade came out already. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So uh, if you haven't seen that, it is a comic series that's still pretty young. It is real good. Like it's cream of the crop right now. The new Jim Butcher book is coming out next. Is coming out next week. Next week, Skin Game. Ooh. Skin Game. All right. It's gonna be good. It's about a it's about a heist. And lastly, Wolfenstein or Wolfenstein, whatever people like to say, came out came out this week. Looks pretty badass. I'm glad that they don't have a multiplayer. It's a straight story game. Um, definitely worth picking up, especially for the next chance. And Watch Dogs comes out next Tuesday. So to see what that actually turns out being. Gameplay looks great. If you're looking for a game that you play as a bad guy that was in bad situations and ends up having bad things happen to him, and now he wants vengeance. That's the weekly word. We'll see you guys next week with another edition. Stay yeah. thirsty, my friends.